the James Bond movie Casino Royale, James Bond uses the alias Arlington Beach to enter the poker game to be, try and beat the villain Lachif. Lachif saw through it, but what Bond was doing was using an alias. An alias can either be a false identity or another name a person is known as. Just like Bond was using an alias to serve his country, England, Linux also has aliases that can serve you as an admin. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm going to tell you all about aliases in Linux. Stick with me. I have a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, or give any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to get the modes out of this video. Let's do this thing. All right, so if you spend any time um, administering Linux systems, you know that some of these commands can get ridiculously long. This is where aliases come in. What an alias is going to do, it's going to allow you to represent a command with a user-defined string. So let me go ahead and show this to you. Let me shrink my face here. So we'd have a user defined string, and then we would have equals, and then we'd just say ls tech a. So then you're gonna have your name here of the string, and then you're gonna have the command that it represents. Now, to see the aliases that are currently available on the system, is we would use the alias command. All right, that's gonna show all of them. Now, some of these you might recognize. ls, ls, believe it or not, it's actually an alias for ls tac tac color equals auto. That's how we get the colors that are associated with directories. So the more you know. And we've got a bunch of other ones here, a few of the other ls commands and some of the grep commands and stuff like that. There's even one here called hugs. Hugs, everybody. Everybody loves hugs, okay? Now, let's go ahead and talk about the .bashrc file. We saw this in our last video on environment variables, but if we just do, let's just do a cat.bashrc file. We're gonna grep alias. We can see in here, this is actually where the aliases are located. We can see those ones that we saw in that previous command right in here. All right, so let's go ahead and start talking about commands to create and delete aliases. Now, if you want to create an alias, you're actually just going to use the alias command, and then you would do, let's just go with punch. Punch equals, um, let's just say, who am I? All right, and then we go ahead and enter, and if we run the punch command, it's going to give us who am I, admin user. Pretty cool, right? Now, if we want to go ahead and delete it, we would just do on alias punch. And if we run it again, it's not found. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's go ahead and talk about doing a permanent one. So the permanent one that we're going to do here, um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to un alias. Uh, uh, then we're going to go into vim, and we're going to go into the dot bash rc file and we're all the way down here at the beginning and i actually already have this in here and one of the things i want to point out is when you're making an alias if you do if you using options or more than just a single word command you will need to put it you will need to put the command in parentheses to make sure that the shell interprets it correctly so we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go in here and we're going to delete this hashtag and then we're gonna go ahead and just resave it and then let's go ahead and rerun the command oh actually hold on we're gonna do is we're gonna run source, then we're gonna do dot bash rc, and this is gonna basically reload the bash rc file using this command. All right, now let's go ahead and run hugs, and there we go. It executed, awesome. Now, aliases can make your life so much easier as a Linux admin. Check out the other videos in my Taytog Explain series. If you're caught up, check out this other video instead. Think, remember, mistakes make you better, so keep on making them. Thank you so much for watching my video, and have the greatest of days.